brand identity versus brand image. What's the difference? Guys, today I wanna to talk to you a little bit about both of these because it can be really hard when you hear all these marketing terms out there and you're like, what does that actually mean? I have no idea, but it's provocative. It gets the people going, right? That's all it is. So when we're looking at brand identity and brand image, like, and I wish I had our good friend Rhonda Swan here. She's amazing at this. You've seen her in a few other videos. She's the best at explaining it. But if we look at just the textbook definition, right? Brand identity is how you try to position your brand. It's what you say about your brand. It's the way that you present it and push it forward. It's really like the core beliefs, the things that you really believe in as your company and as your brand. And it's what you try to put out to the marketplace. It's a key word why I say try. Brand image is how it's perceived. It's how other people see it, right? Because you may be trying to portray a really great identity, but on the other hand, right? The image that's being perceived by people is completely different. So what you wanna think about is going, well, when I'm putting out marketing messages, when I'm looking at how I'm positioning my brand, what am I trying to say? And then you need to find out how people are receiving it and how they're hearing it. Because the image is probably really most important right? Because that's what people perceive you to be as what people say about you when you're not in the room. Oh, Virgin, they're such and such. Oh, McDonald's, they're such and such. It's what people say when you're not there. And that's what the image is all about. So you need to make sure that the identity that you create with your brand and the image match up. And now sometimes there's going to be things that will break that. Sometimes there's going to be things that will not happen. So if you've ever heard anyone say that something's off brand, right? It's because that what happens is in that identity phase, if there's something that happens that's off brand, it causes a change to the brand image. What people are thinking about it, what people, you know, what people say about it, what they, what they hear about it. And really, when you look at the brand identity, it's always covering off on what are you speaking about? And then it's what other people hear about it. So they're the two key differences. And that's really why you need to understand the difference between the two, because what people see in the marketplace and what people perceive could be very different to what you're thinking, right? And the only way that you can assess that is really by trying to pull a focus group together. Asking your staff, asking your team members, asking yourself, what do we portray as a brand? What are we trying to uh, get across as our identity? Then look at, okay, how are people perceiving us? What are people saying about us? What are people hearing about us? Are they saying that you're good, you're high quality, you have great service, you put on fantastic events, you provide tremendous amounts of value? That may be what your identity and what you're saying, but what are they hearing? These guys suck. They don't do very good. They never deliver on what they say. Their events are terrible. You know, whatever it might, whatever they're hearing, they're the two differences between the two. So what I wanna do in just a minute, we're gonna take off and we're gonna to go to a different spot. And I'm gonna share with you a little bit about how you can make those shifts and how you can really start to identify and create your brand identity. And then also how on the other side, you can also start to really look at how the image is being perceived in the marketplace. So let's go. Brand identity, brand identity guys, we're here. Now I wanna give you guys some real life examples that you can think about when it comes to brand identity and the brand image that they are portrayed. Now one of my favorite ones is Apple. The reason why it's so important when I think about Apple is because you look at them when you get their packaging, when you open a box, when you look at them and you see, okay, cool, what is it that I'm getting? You have an experience, right? When you think of them, you think of a certain thing, you think of a premium product, you think of a high price product, you think of luxury, because when you get it, everything's wrapped in a nice little box, it has nice little pieces of plastic wrapping it, holding everything in there. And for me, when I think of it now, every time I go, when I get an Apple product and when I open an Apple product, it's going to be amazing. I'm going to have a great experience. And what I receive is going to be the next level. Now, we also at Your Social Voice have taken on this image when it comes to our brand identity and it comes to our brand image. So what we do is when we get a new client on board, we give them a welcome pack. We give them a special gift. We choose something specifically for them. We have a handwritten letter that goes out so that we can provide them the image and the identity that we want, which again is high class, is high quality, is knowing that they're going to get the best value for money and it's gonna be a quality product. Now, one of the last examples I'd like to share with you is a place called Far Away Bay in the northern parts of the Kimberleys in Western Australia. It's $3,000 per night to stay there. No Wi-Fi, right? No cell reception or anything like that. And what happens when you go there is when you're sitting there, sitting there looking at it, what they try and do is that there's four key areas. They have their food, they have their hospitality, they have their tourism, and they also then have obviously the bedding that they have. 
and they make every single one of those four parts worth three thousand dollars so when you go there and you leave the thing that you say what you see what you see what you feel what you experience is twelve thousand dollars worth of value for only three thousand dollars now what i want you guys to do as an activity is think about for yourselves what do you want to portray to your marketplace? What do you want to have your audience feel? What do you want to have them see? And what do you want to have them say about you? So guys, there's a reason why we've done this video here, looking out over Perth, is because we wanted to give you a experience. We want to give you a feel of what our brand identity and image is. Hopefully you get a little bit of that. We're a bit fun, but we also like to do stuff in cool locations as well. So guys, make sure that you identify your brand, create your brand identity, and then go out there and find out from your audience, from your marketplace, who they think you are with your brand image as well. Guys, we wanna keep this nice and simple and easy for you guys today. So make sure if you like this video, give us a like, give us a thumbs up. If you enjoy it, drop a comment down below and let us know. And always, always, always subscribe so you get these videos first before anyone else. Until next time, I'm Kim Barrett. You've been awesome. We'll see you later.